My name is Guangzhong Wang, and I'm finishing my master thesis here at QTech. Back when I was doing my bachelor's study in China, in my second year, I became aware of the concept of quantum computation through a course, and I was totally fascinated by the concepts introduced there. So that was why I became first interested in quantum computation. So for the past eight months, I've been working on trying to find the Majorana signatures. The existence of the Majorana particle was already predicted in 1937, a particle that is its own antiparticle. This characteristic makes it perfect for building a so-called topological qubit, the basic component for a topological quantum computer. But before you can build the computer, you first need to discover the Majorana particle, and then reproduce and manipulate it. Back in 2012, Professor Leo Calvin-Hoven and other students and postdocs made the first discovery that, indeed, Majorana particles are in the this system that theoretical physicists have been predicting for years. But the material that they were using back then proved to have some serious disadvantages. And that's why a new type of material will be needed. In 2016, we finally got this new type of material. And after experiments, we found out that indeed, in this system, there were no other particles except the Majorana fermions. And that is very crucial for the later steps in our experiments. So my thesis work mostly involves fabricating Majorana chips in the clean room and then taking them out to a fridge that is very low temperature. It is only 0.02 degrees above absolute zero. The absolute zero point, also known as minus 273 degrees Celsius, is the temperature where everything basically stops moving. By cooling down the Majorana device to this low temperature, it hardly moves around and it is less likely to break or fall apart when manipulated. There are a lot of steps that might go wrong. For example, even if there is a very small piece of dust that happened to fall, it will ruin your entire effort. Each time, it will take several weeks for us to get any results on, okay, this material is good, or this material has some problem that we cannot go on with it. The next few years is probably going to be a very exciting time in our field. And I really want to be there when we eventually have a topological qubit.